Hey oh guys, you're clashing with Manny. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to cook an overpowered army for farming and it's the best army I think for right now. So this is the deck guys. Look. 40 miners and 40 archers. So right now at Tanha 10, since the update they met they made a balance change. So now Tanha 10s are able to get level 3 miners. See over here? This is the max for level 8 laboratory. You need to get a level 9 laboratory in order to upgrade your miners furthermore. Okay, so, further I mean. So anyways, right now we have the miners and of course we have 2 heal spells, 2 rage and 1 free spell for infernal towers and 2 poisons. Okay guys, so we're gonna, and also I wanted to show you guys how how long this takes even though it's in the thumbnail but any case anyways guys this this deck actually takes see I'm just gonna put it here edit and it shows 24 minutes you can see there it says time 24 minutes for the army to cook 33 minutes for the spell to cook so yeah guys I think it's the fastest and most reliable deck you can go to farm so you can get all the dark elixir even if it's in the middle or something like that. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna go ahead and attack and use this deck to show you guys how, how like good it is right now. Since level three miners did come to Taha Ten due to a balance change. But anyways, let's go ahead and and go for a base. Hmm, what should we go for? Maybe dark elixir since I'm not upgrading a barbarian king or archer queen right now. So I will go for Dark Elixir to upgrade one of my heroes. So let's just go. I think this one is a good base to go for Dark Elixir since it has almost 4k. So we're gonna start from the bottom I think we should go. No actually yeah we should go from this side from here. I think we can. I don't know if he has any clan castle, but I hope it's like ground and not like a dragon. Otherwise, it'll ruin his, our attack. You guys can bring in hogs to lure the clan castle if you guys want. I'm just gonna go ahead and and risk it, you know, guys. Jolo. So, anyways, guys, in this attack, you need a first funnel, like maybe from the corners, maybe two miners in each corner, and then go to the center and place all the miners here. Like this, and you can put the archers behind so you, so once they get distracted, and they can go for the archers, you know, since the miners go underground. Let's go ahead and freeze the inferno tower and freeze the giants and put the poison spell. And right now we have some miners over here almost dying. So yeah, let's go ahead and. We could rage this minus. Let's go ahead and rage this minus off here. Let's go ahead and put the old arch queen almost died. Hmm. I guess reliable thing. I guess. For Inferno Towers, this deck isn't really, doesn't really work, I guess. I guess I needed two free spells, one for the, each Inferno Tower. I didn't really, really use a free spell on this Inferno Tower, though, since it's single. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, let's just end this here. Yeah, that was kind of bad, but actually, as you guys could see, I did a 70, 64% 2-star. That's still high for what this deck actually like how long it takes that's pretty good so right now guys if you guys want to join actually I wanted to show you guys my my clan I am actually leader you see here 6700 donations one level 163 yeah not not too many trophies but yeah it is my clan I am leader and we won 121 wars and we're on a streak of four. Yeah, lost 28 wars, and a total of 149 wars. 
like we played all that so right now we're actually gonna start making wars until this event initiates which is in two days in eight hours so we're just gonna wait on that and at guys let's actually try this deck this minor deck without heroes let's see how it works okay let's just look for another infernal tower base maybe no actually i don't think that worked out since last time we had heroes and we didn't even get the dark elixir maybe we'll look for a non infernal tower base okay so let's see mm. I don't want to bully this guy, but I just like 2,000 Dark Collector isn't that much. But I just want to show you guys how overpowered this deck would be if it's on Town Hall 9. Of course, we're gonna, we're gonna three star this, but let's just try it out. Yeah, he has no clan castle, true. So, yeah, level three miners. You guys should get them, I think they'll be the best farming troop right now at Town Hall 10. And they, they only cost Elixir, they don't cost Dark Elixir. So, if you guys want to like start farming dark elixir you should you guys should go with miners they are really overpowered for farming at some hotel 10 so yeah guys try to use them even for Taho 11 they have level 5 miners now so it's a good farming troop for dark elixir and even for gold i mean you could use dark elixir if you're not it might if you're not farming for elixir of course but it's just a fun troop you see he goes underground. It's really good for Inferno Tower since they need to retarget it. Mostly if it's it's only one Inferno Tower, you know, single Inferno Tower. So yeah, guys, you see, I don't, I'm not even using my spells, and they break in this base. Of course, it's a Town Hall Nine, and it's pretty rush. But still, guys, I mean, I, I didn't even use my spells. I only used two spells. That's it, and then I'm wrecking this base. Let's just play my rest of my archers and we'll end this this raid right now. Wait, actually, let's just get the three stars so we get the trophies. Okay, guys. So yeah, three star pretty easy. Only use two spells, but that that was expected a three star. So yeah, guys. I think I'll end it here. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Clash of Clans and Clash Royale videos. And remember guys, other people can guide you, but you must do the actions. See ya!